Hello students, let's get back to our chapter 17 of Social Studies textbook, Natural Vegetation. Yes students, the other day we studied about the natural vegetations and what are the reasons for having diversity in natural vegetation. In that, we saw that there have been or there are six reasons and they are the relief features, soil, temperature, sunshine, rainfall, and humidity. These are the reasons which bring out the diversity in different places in India. We also studied that there are, there are different types of natural vegetations, and they are tropical rainforests, tropical deciduous forests, Tropical desert vegetation, temperate forest, grasslands, and mangrove that is also called as tidal forest. In that too, we studied about the type of trees which we get to see in the tropical rainforest. What are their characteristics? How much temperature or rainfall is required? And which states? fall into tropical rainforests, for example, Western Ghats, Lakshwadip, Andaman Nicobar Islands, upper region of Assam, coastal Tamil Nadu, these are the states that fall into tropical rainforests because the temperature over there is more than 22 degrees Celsius and the rainfall which exceeds for 200 centimeters. Okay? And that we also have seen that there have been the trees which grow like mahogany, ebony, rosewood, rubber. These are the trees which grow there and this tree do not shed their leaves. They are always evergreen and so therefore, therefore, they are also called as evergreen forests. We have seen that uh, there is no season here like autumn in this tropical rainforest. So tropical rainforest, which is also called as evergreen forest. So similarly, we saw the five types of forest, tropical deciduous forest, desert vegetation. We saw about the uh, grasslands and the temperate forest. Okay. Today, we are going to study about the forest products and their utility. Now, there have been some products or there have been some types of uh, plants or the vegetation which we do use in our daily life. But many times we are not aware of their utility, where and when and how much, in, how much proportion it can be used. So let's see now. Forests are useful to mankind in many ways. Timber wood from teak and sal is used for furniture making. Now, forests are useful to mankind in many ways. The, please underline students, timber wood from teak and sal is used for furniture making. Boats are prepared from the wood of sundari trees and sundarvan. Now, uh, boats are prepared from the wood of sundari trees of sundarvan. Underline the sundari trees and sundarvan. What has been prepared from the Sundari trees? The boats. Whether as teak and sal has been used for making furniture. Sports goods and packing boxes are prepared from the wood of pine and cheat trees. Underline pine and cheat trees. From pine and cheat trees, what type of items have been prepared, students? Sports goods and packing boxes. Uh, you know very well sport goods like your uh, cricket bats or the stumps or whatever other things have been prepared from cheer and pine wood. Turpentine is prepared from the liquid from cheer trees. Underline turpentine. That has been prepared from the liquid of cheer trees. Underline, make a bracket. Underline turpentine. Sandalwood is used to prepare perfume, oil, cosmetics etc. Now you know the price of sandal and why this sandal uh, cutting of the sandalwood trees forbidden? 
as it is they are very costly of course but we also want to conserve them we also want to preserve them and so we will see that how we have to conserve the forest and all but over here sandalwood is used to prepare perfumed oil and cosmetics so many cosmetics are available which are made of sandalwood and of course the perfume or the perfume oils too are used so sandalwood is used to prepare perfume oil cosmetic etc baskets toys goods of home decoration etc are made from bamboo trees make a bracket sometimes you get the wooden toys or uh, some type of baskets and all so students those baskets which are made of bamboo you get to see they look very nice very decorative they are and so they are prepared from bamboo trees forest also provide lac that is sealing wax resin gum rubber honey cane etc amla baheda harde ashwagandha etc hold medicinal utility so students underline amla bahadya hade ashwagandha etc hold medicinal utility now students for the medicine purpose this have been used and they have given the names so suppose if you are asked for one mark what which uh, type of trees or the plants have been used for medicinal utility you will be naming them so just see the table below medicinal utility of vegetation in one side you have been given the names of the vegetations that are different plants and their utility when and why are they used we also use students we also use but sometimes we are not aware of how what are the real benefits of this medicines these plants so sarpaganda vegetation is used for or used in when in high blood pressure limdo is used as a bacterial resistance you know that limda that neem trees and all have been uh, used for the bacterial resistance they are very good sometimes even now in this season and all uh, many people make the they grind it they wash they grind it and make juice of it and drink that bitter juice as it is very very good for the health some boil those leaves and drink some use it for bath in many ways it has been used tulsi which is another useful medicinal plant for use for cold cough and fever arjun sadad which is used for treatment for heart ailments for the heart problems and all arjun sadad is used billi is used for gas and cough impurities billi is used for gas and cough impurities gallo is uh, used for diabetes fever joint pain when you are having joint pain diabetes or fever you can go for gallo or gallo harde is used for constipation hair disease so when you are having constipation problem or the hair diseases hair fall or any other problems with the, regarding your hair and so harde is used amla is used to or used for curing of the gas acidity and digestive system amla is also very useful nowadays we people are realizing more and more benefits of amla tulsi limdo and so on and karanj karanj is used for skin and dental gum diseases when you have some dental problem or the gum disease some people they have a bad gums sometimes the blood oozes from there and all and so that is the time karanj is used that is useful besides leaf plants and uh, besides leaf plates from kakro leaves ketechu uh, uh, ketechu from kheer tree bidi from timru leaves are also prepared forest provide livelihood and food to forest dwellers this way forest contribute into social and economic development of mankind so students 
see how the forests have been very helpful in different ways how they have been useful students they have been they have been uh, used as a medicinal plants also besides the uh, leaf plates from kakro leaves katechu from kale tree bidi from timru timru leaves and so students plus the medicinal use now let's see what are the environmental importance of the forest how are the forest important in the uh, for the environment the environmental importance of forest is as follows and students have to remember these points because this uh, question is asked in the exam for three marks write about the importance of the environmental forest and the measures to conserve the forest so both the questions look here pay attention first and foremost the importance is forests are useful to bring rain forests help us to bring rain that is the first they control the atmosphere from becoming adverse so forests also control the atmosphere from becoming adverse you know how much the trees have been useful for us the forest and uh, this year we have been realizing very much importance of the environment of the plants the trees they provide life saving oxygen in the time of corona we know the importance of oxygen the fresh air okay so the trees provide life saving oxygen forests control the floods they help in controlling the floods they absorb harmful gases like carbon dioxide carbon dioxide of course we know that they absorb forests prevent soil erosion we are going to study also now how what is soil erosion and how do they uh, help in preventing the soil erosion forests maintain ground water because of the forests the level of the ground water has been maintained well forests restrict the advancing deserts advancing deserts forest do prevent the stop they restrict the uh, desert to advance forests are useful in reducing air pollution of course we know these students how much they are useful and therefore we have to plant more and more trees forests enhance the natural beauty it's not only importance for the medicinal utility but also they enhance they bring a beauty where there are many trees and the scenario the there is a nice scenery it does help us to live into that atmosphere surrounding is good we like to go sometimes for the places where there is a there are many trees hill stations and all so the forest also bring the natural beauty forest purify the air forest are ideal places for adventurous tourism activities just as i told you before also they are also good for the tourism activities some forests are reserved with reference to national parks and sanctuaries and biodiversity so students these are the importance of the forest as we said that they help to bring the rain they also help in preventing soil erosion they absorb harmful gases like carbon dioxide they control floods help us in giving or providing uh, oxygen they restrict the advancing of the desert they help us in getting the clean fresh air by reducing the air pollution they enhance the beauty they purify the air they also help us or the places for the adventures and uh, tourism activities so students these are the importance of the forest now let's see what can be done to conserve the forest forest conservation ecosystem is formed due to the international interrelation of biosphere and mankind ecosystem is formed due to the interrelation of biosphere and mankind but due to the anti environmental activities and selfishness of man the ecosystem is disturbed so students there is a cycle nature itself is helping nature to grow we have seen how the big animals carnivorous and the herbivorous animals and all the cycle of the nature what is the food of the carnivorous what is the food of the herbivorous animals 
And so students, the nature has to go on. We are not supposed to interfere with the nature. Okay, but what happens? The anti-environmental activities and the selfishness of man has disturbed the ecosystem. How? We will see it now. Man's insatiable desire to produce, sorry, to desire to procure land is responsible for the destruction of forests. Man's insatiable. Insatiable is that the man is never satisfied. Human being is never satisfied with what he has. The more he has, the more he wants to have it. And so in that greed, greed of what? To procure or desire to procure land is responsible for the destruction of the forest. Forests are destroyed also by increasing population policy of establishing industrial units away from residential areas, urbanization, multipurpose projects, construction of roads, Jhum cultivation to get timber and fuel wood, forest fire, etc. Ecological balance is disrupted due to the destruction of forest. So, students, this ecosystem, man's insatiable need, because of that, this cycle of the forest also has been getting disturbed. And why, students, how we have been destroying the forest is that because of the increasing of the population. Establishing industries, units away from the residential. We don't want to have it because of the smoke and all that uh, pollution. And so we go somewhere far, and which is the far place is found out by man? The jungle, the forest. And over there, man wants to cut down the forest. And then that is how constructing the big buildings or the roads or the multi purpose projects to get the timber for the full wood and uh, also the zoom cultivation. Zoom cultivation is that from one place to another place they cultivate, they clear the forest, they burn the forest. And so that is how the balance of the ecological system has been disrupted. Now adverse effects are noticed due to forest destruction. These include decrease in rainfall, drought, global warming, greenhouse effects, advancing deserts homelessness of wild animals, etc. So students, the wild animals which have been living in the forest, when the forests are cut down, where will the wild animals go? Naturally, they are tend to come to the human area where the human habitation is. They wander, they wander and they, uh, they wander away and they lose their, lost their ways and then they come to the our residential areas. Because their lively, their living place has been destroyed, and so advancing desert also has, the desert also has been increasing because the forests are not there to prevent. We also have seen the global warming, greenhouse effect, decreasing rainfall. According to national policy of 1952, there must be forest over 33 percent of total geographical area of the nation. In India, forests are spread over about 23% area while forests occupy only about 10% of the land in Gujarat. Remember the students, according to the national policy of 1952, there must be forest over at least 33% of the total geographical area of the nation. In India, the forests are spread over about only 23% area while the forest occupy only 10% land in Gujarat. See students, the ratio. Thus, it is necessary to prevent destruction of forest and also and so protection and conservation of forest is necessary necessary okay so students we have to take care of the forest like to know students you will read that in gujarat while khakro hugal nilsoti sizem amli atak hade etc are placed in red data book of IUCN, that is International Union for Conservation of Nature. Underline this word, this can be asked in the exam, in on verge of extinction category, meaning these are the plants which are getting lost from this area, that is from a Gujarat 
will not get to see after some years if you do not save these plants if you do not take care of these plants now what are the remedies to conserve the forest what are the remedies what causes can be taken to conserve this forest in order to protect and conserve forest the government of india implemented a national forest policy in 1952 in 1952 government of india implanted implemented some national policy and in 1980 the parliament passed legislative act and in 1988 a new national policy was announced following steps should be taken to preserve forest now which are the steps to be taken to preserve forest forest students this is asked for the three marks question this is asked for three marks so you have to learn by heart first point is that forests are our national resource take it as a moral duty to protect them it is a national resource and therefore take it as a moral duty it becomes my duty i need to protect them we had been saying when you were small or even now sometimes you write the uh, uh, sometimes you want to make the people aware and on the placard and all you write the motto you write that each one plant one save trees plant more trees go globally with the plants go green so students these have been awareness you are trying to bring out to the people and students it can be done when you are in the school okay tree felling should be stop stop cutting the trees heavy punishment must be inflicted to those who cut the trees illegally and so students in some places in india we are giving this heavy punishment for cutting unnecessarily illegally cutting the trees which is not allowed we need to stop it students and then to increase public participation in one mahotsav one mahotsav you know that uh, remembering uh, one day keeping as the forest day okay one mahotsav one is the gujarati word i think suppose students and uh, social forestry trees must be planted on either sides of the wasteland wasteland river railway tracks and roads and raised them so students what trees must be planted planted on either sides of the wasteland rivers railways railway tracks even on the road you nowadays you get to see even in uh, gujarat also we have done it so beautifully that uh, in many places on the highways and all the nice plants have been planted you need to do so have look at the table like to know but before that we will we'll finish the points the fifth point take precautions to avoid forest fire and in case of fire it must be doused immediately so students stop uh, take precaution when you are in the forest and not don't uh, smoke or anything don't light a match uh, can match stick and just throw it over there that can bring fire to the forest and in case it happens it must be doused it must be put off immediately okay here's renewable energy resources such as solar energy bio energy wind energy etc in place of traditional resources like wood used to get energy so instead of wood start using this solar energy bio energy wind energy in many places now many people are using solar energy in their house not only for the hot water but also for the cooking set they are using the solar energy electricity is also on solar many places nowadays explain the importance of forest to people through broadcasting media and bring public awareness about it and bring public awareness about it about the importance of the forest to the people and so students these are the seven points which we can take precautions and conserve the forest now these are the environmental related days this you have to remember this is always ask either for one mark or in match the following which are they they are environmental related day 21st march is celebrated as the world forest day 22nd april earth day 5 june is the world environment day july month is one mahotsav day and 16 september is a world ozone day besides this like to know is that the year 2011 was declared as world forest year in order to bring global awareness 
to bring the awareness globally the world forest day or year was declared on 2011 it was declared in 2011 students that's why i said go globally go green plant tree and bring awareness this any any motos any caption you can write to bring awareness social forestry means to manage forest to help environment society and rural development to conserve forest and plant trees fri that is forest research institute undertakes forest related research so students with this we have finished the chapter over here i want you to write this question answers what are the effects of the forest destruction which we saw already what are the reasons for the forest destruction why do people destroy the forest what are the or what is the environmental importance of forest which we already saw tropical forests are also called evergreen forests we have already learned by heart in the class state the types of forests which we studied there have been type five types of forests write about the utility of the forest we saw the different plants also such as the small plants like tulsi amla harde also we saw about the wood the trees how uh, for the boat and the sports goods packing boxes what type of wood has been used from where do we get the turpentine that is a liquid from the cheat trees whether it is uh, currant gallo harde limdo they also have been used as a medicinal plants so students these are the question answers you have to write it in your fair book i stop the class over here see you soon have a good day